So something pretty exciting has happened. Adobe Fresco has finally added their perspective tool. So let's dive a little bit into how this tool works and how it makes my life easier. All right, so to do this, obviously we have to have a document open. So you can open any size for this. It works no matter what. Now, in order to find this, you gotta go over to this little square over here to the right, which is like the grid tool. And then in there, you're going to go down to grids. It'll show you the one that it has on, you know, by default. So grid type is this one. Um, and then if you go in, you can go to perspective. Now it usually starts on two point perspective, but there is one point and as well three point, which is really helpful. Now, one of the really cool things about this is that you can edit your vanishing point, which is really important, obviously, when you're drawing in perspective, right? But a couple of nice things to me, they just made it so, so simple to do that. There's some programs I've tried where doing the perspective tool can get a little complicated. Um, you can move this literally wherever inside the canvas, outside the canvas, as far as you want to zoom out, you can and make those vanishing points as far off or as close as you need. Another thing I found really useful is when you're dragging down, you don't have to just try to guess where that center line is. It'll already snap into place for you. And it also works too. If you're holding shift, you can snap right in. Going down the list, you'll notice this little checkbox here where it says snap to grid access for drawing. So what this means is, is right now with it checked on, if I were to draw, it's going to snap to the grid, right? Which means it's going to go to one of the vanishing points, or I can do straight up and down diagonals. Now, one of the great things is you don't have to completely back out now if you want to just draw normally without these grids kind of holding you down. You can come back in after just checking that off and then you can draw whatever you want in your picture. The next option is density. Now, density just kind of adds more of your guidelines in there. So this kind of depends on you. Do you like seeing all the guidelines or do you like less? Either way, it doesn't really matter. You can turn this all the way down. And no matter what, when you're drawing with that thing set on um, snap to grid, it's going to draw those lines. All right, opacity, pretty self-explanatory, but it's just how much of that line is coming through. Again, this is just a personal preference. Do you like to barely see it or do you like to really see it all until the drawing's over? And just fully customizable, you can go in and change the line of one of the colors to literally any color that you want. Um, I just think that's pretty neat. It's a nice touch. So one other really cool thing to mention is that since Adobe Fresco has so many cool tools, you can use those tools on the perspective access. So here's um, Fresco's watercolor, their live watercolors. And you can see that, you know, it's snapped to grid. So if you wanted to do a whole picture, uh, maybe you just wanted to lay in some quick uh, perspective work or something, you're going to do a digital painting. You could do it with potentially the paint materials and not a boring digital brush. Another really helpful tool is these assisted lines. So if you see those red lines that are kind of jutting out, they're a little pinkish. What that is, is the guideline. So let's say I wanted to connect this line that I just created to another line. All I have to do is draw my line. And then when that vertical pink line going up and down matches up there to that top point, I now know that as long as I draw straight up from here, it's going to connect. It seems minor, but this is a really helpful tool because sometimes in perspective, you just can't tell where that line is going to match up. Now you don't even have to guess, it's all there for you. All right, so for the rest of the video, I just put in some quick sped up footage of me drawing in perspective. So I did some one point, two point, three point, just trying it all out. Um, and it's such a cool tool because now I feel like I can actually just freely sketch turn off my mind and do perspective, which is really nice. Now I do want to mention, do I think this tool is perfect? No, absolutely not. I don't really think any drawing tool is perfect necessarily. A um, couple things that I would really like, uh, the obvious, more perspective options. I mean, obviously, you know, you should be able to add more perspective points so that way you can do more dynamic scenes. So four point and above would be really cool. The ability to just kind of add vanishing points would be cool. Um, something I really, would have liked is a hotkey for the snapping on and off the grid. So sometimes when you're drawing, you kind of just forget whether you have the grid on or off or erasing can be kind of annoying when you have grid snapped on. And then it's a minor inconvenience, but having to drag your pen or whatever you're using all the way over to that little checkbox, hitting it, and then going back to your drawing and losing your place of wherever you were. It's just a little bothersome, right? Um, as of right now, I don't think you can change hotkeys in Fresco, so that's why I'm complaining about that. If you could, I wouldn't. Um, otherwise, 
I guess the only other thing I would suggest too is maybe like a distance in perspective tool. So something where I can kind of easily measure distance heading off into space, like maybe some sort of algorithm for that. I don't really know if that's a feasible thing, but it's a cool idea to think about. I, Adobe though has said that they are working on developing new ways to improve this. Um, that's the cool thing about investing in Adobe is that uh, you pay monthly, but they do update pretty often and they do some pretty cool updates here and there. And that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like this, let me know. Maybe I'll make some more tutorial videos for Fresco or other Adobe things. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I just want to say thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.